Hi Chestnuts, I'm going to be reading you the opening of Leon and the Place of Between today. Now, it's not a very big book, so it won't take me too long. What I'd like you to do is listen to the story that I'm going to read, but I'm going to stop it and not let you listen to the whole story because we're going to do some writing next week based on part of the story that we're not going to listen to. And then, once you've done your writing, I'm going to reveal the ending. What you'll notice in this book is there are some lovely pictures. For example, the one we based our work on last week. So, I don't believe in magic, said Tom, as he settled on the grass in the show tent. Around him, the crowd waited impatiently for something to happen. It's not real, hissed Pete. It's only tricks. Little Mo looked disappointed. Shh, now, whispered their brother, Leon. It will be magic. You have to believe. Look, it's going to begin. The lanterns went out. In the darkness, the crowd fidgeted with excitement. There was a cough, a whisper, and then a loud hush. At last, a soft blue glow lit the stage and the curtains twitched. With a ripple of gold braid, the curtains slowly parted. Bang! Three jugglers tumbled onto the stage to the pounding beat of a drum. Skittles flew fast and furious, back and forth, up and over. Tambourines rattled loud and louder. Skittles spun high and higher. The jugglers twisted fast and faster. Then bang, the skittles went up. But they didn't come down. Everybody cheered and clapped. The jugglers bowed and bounced away. Once more, there was only darkness. Now one dim spotlight found a barrel organ. Still and silent on the stage, everyone held their breath. The handle began to turn, but there was no hand upon it. Note by note, the tinking, tinkling song of a carousel started to dance from the pipes. Up jumped a barrel organ monkey all made of wood and tiny hinges. He beckoned the moon to the light, the mechanical toys. A red-eyed crocodile snapped at a running boy's heel. A ballerina turned on her pink satin shoe. Painted animals paraded into the ark and a flying machine lurched through the air, up, up and over the moon. At last, the barrel organ fell silent. No one stirred. For a moment, the tiny creaks of the mechanical toys cast their own spell. Then they slowly jerked awkwardly and were still. The solemn monkey took a stiff bow and the curtains closed to loud applause. Now, said Leon, edging forward in the dark. Now it's going to happen. Outside in the night, an owl hooted with a swish. The curtains opened. Poof! A cloud of purple smoke filled the stage, and there he was, Abdul Kazam. Sparks flew from his fingertips. Leon could smell the magic. Trust nothing, said Abdul Kazam, but believe everything. He threw his arms into the air, and the magic began. Paper flowers blossomed from his sleeves. Silk scarves changed colour at a whispered word. Water poured into a hat, turned into night air. Bright white handkerchiefs became fluttering doves. The crowd was amazed. Then Abdul Kazam stepped aside and there was a door. A door into a box. Who will step into the magic? Leon knew it had to be him. He stepped up to the stage and climbed into the box. There was a gasp from little Mo, and the door shut behind him. So I'm going to stop it there, because you know that we're doing a piece of writing based around the place between. So I want to leave it in your imagination of what the place between might be. 
and we'll find out what it really is next week. I hope you like the story. I think it's really good and got some lovely pictures and lovely description. Bye, chestnuts.